This is Teen Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and as usual, I'm here with Ewa Oluo Ritu, the Malian, and Ife Oluo Shuke. <laughs> Malian, Malian. <laughs> I'm scared, yo. I'm all right. How are you all doing? Right. I'm blessed. It's the Malian Spain. Because okay. I hear it's the key to opening some doors now, you know? Mm. You mentioned the name twice and they say this Malian, let's let her go. Let her go. Have you experienced that? Do you have a testimony for us yet? Mm. Not yet. Not yet. So but now I, think, I, think I, got a, I think I got a gift one time. So now you're claiming for being a Malian. Be yeah. Ah, please, I'm a Malian, people. <laughs> Look at my life. You can DM yeah. me on Instagram. I didn't deny. deny I didn't deny. Okay. You know when you want to rebook um someone, a child. Mm. you get you, you will not act like you're friendly with that child at that point. Mm. You just not be really strict. Him. Naramani, you need to act right at that mm. point. But no, I'm still a Malian. Okay, please, the let's focus on the conversation. Influence. I love the boy. He no, but he actually everything. spoke um, it turns everything. It turns everything to a song. <laughs> and that's what is amazing. Yeah. Are you read by the Malian right? if you mm -hmm. want to give me money? <laughs> if not, moving on. Um, African Movie Academy Awards 2019 happened on Sunday, and our favorite celebrities got another opportunity to play dress up. However, what we are more excited about is Shola Shobawali winning Best Actress as King of Boys emerged Best Nigerian Film. She played the role of Alaja Eniola Salami in King of Boys. She defeated seven other nominated actresses, including Rita Dominic um, and several others. King of Boys became the Nigerian film with the highest number of awards at the 15th edition of the AMA, with nine nominations and winning three. So this is, um, I think it's a good one. Congratulations, congratulations to her, yeah. congratulations to Kemi Adetiba. Mm. And her story is um, different because, I mean, she's someone who has been in the industry for a very long time. Mm. She left at some point, I think she left for about five to six years, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. And then she came back and she's ruling again, right? So I think um, it's, it's kind of similar to Tariji's um, story when she tell you she got her big break at 40. Mm. And she so she was saying something about people telling her that she's too old for the industry. Nobody's going to pay attention to her. And now she's winning awards and getting the Oscars and all that. So I'm not saying they're exactly the same, but that story came to mind when I saw um, the rejoicing for the night. It was just good. It felt Did Taraji uh, get into the industry when she was 40? No, or no, she, she went on a break and then she No, she didn't back. go on a break. Like, she didn't start she got pretty big early. Break. Yeah, she got her big She didn't break. start very early and also. The stories she got are her. totally different because mm. Shola Shibawali has, has been, been there. Well, yeah. she yeah. went like, away at some point and then she came back. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But even before she went away, right she from was already a big star. Yeah, she was a big star. And then somebody that exactly similar. story days and all I'm not saying it's exactly similar. I'm saying the story came to mind yeah. when this happened because mm. they are both um we are both 40 right mm. and they're doing great things basically that's what i'm saying mm. when i saw this award yeah i was not so surprised but then i'm happy that she got it because it's well deserving mm -hmm. i've known shola shubali since i was like maybe three or four mm -hmm. like watch her movies because my mom is like a fan huge fan and then she's always watching her movies and we're always and she's somebody that everybody knows that when she's acting she tries all her best to portray that character the way it's it is like you think it's real life mm. and that's what she did with king of boys we've seen other movies like wedding party and um golden status i can't but remember why she always dramatic though but that's how she is that's why they give her that particular dramatic mm. role if you notice in all her movies she's always the action woman and she and any movie she's always the highlight of the movie mm. there must be something that she has done in that movie that the movie is trending for and i feel like this is really deserving congratulations to her congratulations to kemi adetiba and congratulations to um adesua i feel like she deserves the awards because all all of that movies i don't think i've really appreciated adesua's um acting skills not until i saw king, king of, of boys, boys and mm. she acted really well congratulations mm. to her too all right so someone asked me and said um, do you think this movie is the best nigerian movie and i said of course mm. yes and she was like oh you should have taught um you about demons and i was like nope when you're talking about what's your bad demons what? uh, <laughs> the ay movie merry men oh, you're about demons <laughs> whatever who is this person <laughs> uh, um okay so you have to tell me behind story the scene. Behind the scene. <laughs> and i was like really no your taste in movies has to be a I mean, And I was like, no, that, okay, when you're I talking about I saw Mary Men on Netflix film, and I was sad that I watched the movie. <laughs> no, obviously, I'm sure she doesn't know what she, because I said uh, Mary Men, she said no. 
She now said she now said I'm still thinking. I'm saying she now said you're about demons. I was like, okay. So I was like, okay. What's I got you. It's <laughs> very much she's talking about. Talk about but but I already like when we were trying to recall oh, the names of okay. movies that like wedding party, like um, what's it called? What's this I other movie? I going to be a Chief sequel Daddy, to Chief Daddy. Daddy. Um, Bling yeah. Legosians. You know, I mentioned the only oh, reason I'm going to watch that is just files. Like, you should kill me. But it's all right. All right. So um, <laughs> back to the story. Um, in terms of picture quality, in terms of acting, in terms of directing, in terms of production, this movie was a great movie. In fact, this deserves an Oscar. I don't think I've seen any Nigerian movie that's kept me intrigued to the end. I mean, it's close to three hours, that. right? Yeah. And I was intrigued to the I was like this, like in front of the screen. I couldn't in fact if you talk to me that time I'm like this. If Do I you know some things that can keep you that way too for three hours though. But go ahead. Some things? Nothing mm. can keep me that way for three mm -hmm. hours, trust me. Yeah, we can't say it on air, but it's keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so um no intrigued. That one I can still double into other if things I'm while intrigued. I'm doing them. But just go ahead. You have Move to tell me this is. I'm sorry, I'm telling you that behind the scene. So, um, I was intrigued all through this movie. I think Shola Shibowali's performance was amazing. Mm. Actually, when she had to kind of hallucinate. Hallucinate. Mm. Yeah, the, she point. acted each role like she was actually going through it. Like, I felt the pain. I felt the happiness. I felt the laughter. I felt the joy. I felt every form of emotion she was going through at every point in time. It was like I was there to feel it. Do you understand? Mm. So she killed it. She nailed it. And they can't take this away from her. And um, big shout out to Adesu as well. Best supporting actress. I've seen a lot of monologues from her role when she was rebuking her younger brother when he had a car crash mm. and all of that. So I've seen a lot of monologues. And people have reenacted that particular role. That's to show you how amazing she played that mm. role. Do you understand? And then for directing and production, of course, Kemi Adetiba deserves every. Everything I think everybody know. in that movie deserves yeah. an award because they all took their role. Even Tony Tones. Like, yeah, I mean, every single Everyone. Even Eubliss, Reminis, and all that. Everyone Okay, played. okay. Yeah. I see that we're excited about this one. Yeah. So congratulations. <laughs> but we need to move on to the next story. Mm. Yeah. Um, there's a new twist in Duncan Mighty's business dealings with Rochas Okorocha. Recall we mentioned um, Duncan Mighty called out um, Rochas in our previous episode. In an exclusive interview with Linda KG, the singer... Um, the singer uh, is kind of trapped in a drama. This singer's name is Amechi Prefet, or uh, is it Perfect Gideon, also known as M2. He revealed what is, uh, transpired between Rochas and Duncan Mighty. According to him, and I quote, the governor promised to help me and even went as far as sponsoring my education, and he tried helping me get a record deal. He spoke to Fino, but he said he wasn't signing any artist at that time. We reached out to Eric Manny as well, but we couldn't reach a deal. And finally, we reached out to Duncan Mighty and he agreed to the deal. Duncan Mighty agreed to take 11 million naira from the governor as the fee needed for him to push my brand, um, record songs and all that. So we signed the deal in Imo State on December 18, 2018, end of quote. He went on to say that since then, Duncan Mighty disappeared and refused to take his calls or speak with any one of the governor's aides. So I think he also went on to say that he was arrested. Mm -hmm. He spent about three days in mm -hmm. prison. Well, he and didn't say that. Duncan didn't say that. He of course, he didn't say any of this. He was just acting and then like... The boy, the boy also went on um, to say okay, he went to, um, I know you guys have opinions on this, but can I just start? First of all, I don't have this M2 <laughs> guy, right? Mm -hmm. That's his name, right? M2 guy. Now, you said you tried to reach out to Eric Money, mm -hmm. you tried to reach out to um, Fino, you mm -hmm. tried to reach out to, um, which other record label do you call? Uh, that's just the two you mentioned. No, I think they, they're about three. Yeah, about three now, you're talking ones, about yeah. people that own actual record labels mm -hmm. eh, and people that are actually very relevant in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Now, Duncan Mighty does not own a record label. No, but he said he what said he did push, was to push promote Has Duncan Mighty promoted himself? That's the first question. No, you can't say Duncan Mighty After, is after not Fake Love, after Fake Love, what happened? No, it's a case of looking at the music industry from the eyes of Lagos. Trust me, Duncan Mighty is huge that side. Huh. And we're talking about things that happen in Port Harcourt, in Mosley. And I feel like then, <clears throat> when it comes to promoting and pushing somebody, mm -hmm. you might not be there already, but you might have the connects that can help that person. Mm, Maybe true. that's what they went for. Yeah, mm. true. Maybe so they settled for less. 
So oh. I. <laughs> no, that's the way I see it because I don't okay. see Donka Mighty as somebody that would. If I'm looking, okay, if I have an artist, I'm ready to invest 11 million naira. Donka Mighty is the last person. No, no if I don't I know where you're looking at it from. I'm looking at it from the angle no. of you need somebody to promote. Yes, you do don't even need. You don't even need a Donka Mighty to promote you if you have it, if you have the money. Let you you get. can use an LC to promote you as long as the money is there and you have the right connection. Mm. It will be done. That's, that, that's it's what not I about said. being the it, people that are promoting whiskey and co or. Okay, when you call Two Face, these days, what's the name of that? His manager, F A F A. The name comes up. Would you say F A and Two Face? Are but he does the groundwork. So the star and the people behind the stars are not the same thing in any way. Mm. Well, I told. I think I kind of agree with what you're mm -hmm. saying. But uh, back to the story. So Duncan, wherever you are. This guy is really shady. <laughs> yeah, I think. Duncan I think it's a very the the Duncan now. The uh, kind of stories that Duncan, like coming Duncan out is a very and involving Duncan. Mm. I feel like even if he comes on this show, I will say uncle. Did you read like, the part? Really what, what, what got me was when I read the part that the guy said he went to Duncan's studio, studio and, and he then threatened him with a gun. With so a it's gun. like every Nigerian celebrity has, has a gun. A gun. So he actually came out to play what? Um, first report victim. or what? Victim. Mm. What, yeah. what was the aim People of that see, post? You know, you know. this guy said that if there's anyone after Duncan Mighty's life or he's getting any death threats, then it's from the police, and it means they're doing their job because mm. up to date, I think it's still at large. That's and it means there's no return death threat anywhere because he money. said he wants to return. He 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 said um, so I don't know what happened. Well, Maybe it would be nice to hear for for the third time now because we've heard first part, second part, the third part from Duncan Mind also because I don't know why you would really want to take on someone like Rochas if you don't know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, we'd like him to reply right? the same two so, guy because mm -hmm. this guy has um, a lot a to lot, lose. Mm. Do you understand? So I don't think he will come out to say something false about someone um, as um, okay as Duncan Mighty. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use the word big. Sorry, Duncan. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think he would want to say something false about him. So this guy, I'm not saying he's saying the truth because there are, um, there are three sides to the story. My mm -hmm. side, your side, and the truth. So this one we're is waiting four sides to know the now truth. Because Richard has yeah. to get involved. <laughs> 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 I don't think Richard has to get involved. No, I'm telling you how many sides we have. It's four mm -hmm. sides on this mm -hmm. type. Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh. that's my opinion. But I don't. I, th I really don't have an opinion on this. I just mm. feel like Donka. I don't. I'm not saying the guy is saying the truth, like he first said. But I feel Donka just came to play the bigger one here, and then to get people's no. He on came the to side. play the victim, basically. And that's what I'm saying. Like mm -hmm. you know, when he, because he's already known, he knows the attention will be on him, and people want to like support him based on the fan base and the love, whatever. Mm. I think that's why he came. Let me put it out there. So if anything is even coming, and maybe this guy was already planning to tell this story. And somehow he knows about it, and that's why he brought all that out. So he needs to come down, sort all this out. Mm. All right, it's time for a quick break, but when we return, we'll have time to discuss more stories. We'll be right back. It's the hottest entertainment stories coming up right here, right now. This is Tea Time. Thank you for the tea. Between yourself and Emma, who is the best rapper? I'm the best rapper. Emma is maybe second after my meeting. Oh, nice. 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 nice! Fame is fickle, it's a huge distraction. Ah, guys, I'm a good guy now, come on. <laughs> Give me your account number, I'll make a transfer. You get the money? Yeah. <laughs> Four million. I started getting scared when the robot boy started saying, you know, we worry people. If you are good, my dear, mm -hmm. you are good. My kind of person, and I'm not ready to cry over any man. You look like Jeru, no? Uh, a lot of people say that. Yeah, just the looks, that's all. Mm -hmm. Not the account. Just just wow. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, I mean, the best couple in the industry, that's how I used to call them, John Legend and his wife. Um, the wife revealed the romantic reasons why John Legend decided to miss his flight. And, uh, 
so romantic. <laughs> I, I mean, the little things just matter. Matter, right? Um, I mean, life can be so hard, and mm. then being a mom and a wife is like a serious responsibility. That's how I see it, though. The serious responsibility, and then to know that you're not in it alone mm. is something very encouraging that would even push you to do more mm -hmm. in your marriage and being a mother to your kids. It's not just easy, you know. A lot of men would just leave their wife at home and think phone I'm calls going to make money and video, now. you know, it's phone money calls I'm making or the money video for you. calls <laughs> is enough. But you know, people should realize that your presence actually matters a lot in relationship, marriage, and whatever it is. Especially when you go out of your way to do it. To and do it, yes. Yeah. Mm. Knowing that you're very busy, you have an event to catch up with, but you still have me in mind. And then he took his least favorite flight. I mean, that's so sweet. You know, when I first saw the story, I was like, yo, big deal. Then I realized that not many of us are left. So obviously, you have to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to celebrate the few good guys left. Mm. Because when I saw it, I was like, yo, that's something I would do. So why are you guys celebrating that? You get if me? I, like, just a few of us. Are, I, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. We don't have to argue this. <laughs> just a few of us are left. Just a few good guys are left. Mm. So a lot of people will see this as a big deal. But to someone like me, it's like, Yo, that's, your, that's something you're supposed to do. You should take that step for your wife, for your woman. She hasn't been herself lately. If I didn't know what's going be, on through my I head right now. I come by road. If first boy is saying, I'm going to make money. <laughs> 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 what the hell is wrong with you? No, that's not true. I'm, I'm a hopeless romantic in case you don't know. Mm. Or in case you haven't noticed, I'm a hopeless romantic. And um, if it's I, something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was not going to say anything. But since you <laughs> kept on going on and going on and going on, when you're going to buy your lunch or when you're sending people to get lunch for you, we know, like, mm. the whole office kind of knows where you're doing things. Mm. That's, how, that's the kind of person you are. So I feel like if you've gone out of your way to even send breakfast or flour, even if it's a go to a girl in this office, we would have known by now. Mm. If, uh, but uh, there's, no girl, there's no girl there's in no this girl office anymore. that I'm, 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 no, I'm, I'm saying no, no, outside. outside. Like, if you're, if, you're, if you're collaborating with people who do these surprises and mm. all that, you get... Oh, no, no, I'm dating a celebrity and she likes a life private, so... No, and that does no, no, not... No, that church girl is a celebrity. What church girl? Uh, the celebrity, uh, the celebrity girlfriend, girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, she's a celebrity. Uh, <laughs> but that's not the point. So are you saying celebrities or celebrities, whatever you want to call them, they don't have... They don't need you to No, she doesn't show want me to gestures. talk about the private life. So that's why you, you won't be you there send, when I'm sending flowers. You send that that's why you won't be there when I'm sending breakfast. That's why you won't be there when I'm sending. Us. Yeah. Mm. I, I, you don't need to tell me her name. You just I just need to see you doing it. Mm. Like see you, you don't need to call. see me doing see it because I'm not that The only you. person that needs to see me do it is my darling and she mm. sees me do it. And that's if all I want. Moving on from this relationship lie to the next one. Um Break the relationship up. Do not wait for them to be single. This is coming from Leo Da Silva. He said, and I quote, don't wait till they are single. Scatter the relationship. Remember, if it can be scattered, it is not meant to be. Just advising the young ones. Radicalism brings results faster. Hmm. End of quote. Hmm, 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 hmm. I, I, I second this. Hmm. Yes. Wait, <laughs> he will contradict himself now. Continue. I second this mm -hmm. in the sense that um, he said, if it can be broken, then it's not meant to be. Mm. So a girl can chase me away with I have a boyfriend. That line don't work on me anymore. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I, I have a fear. Nah, until, until you guys walk down the aisle, then you're still very, very, very much single and very open to any relationship. So if I'm able to win your heart over, then mm. that relationship is not meant to be. So that's why I'm going to second this. At first, I was thinking what type of radical movement is that. But when I saw that, if you can break it up, then it's not meant to be. But if it's a solid relationship, no matter how hard I try, she would never agree, right? Mm. But if you can still fall for me after you've told me you have a boyfriend, then come on. Can Are happen. you really in a relationship? Mm. Mm. So do you, would you encourage us to, what? me and Ewa, mm. so if we see a guy that we like and it's in a relationship, would you encourage us to make sure we break? Well, in this part of the world, women don't believe in taking the bold step of approaching a man. No, yeah. but we, let's say we are ready. No, yeah, it's, it's, we it's are ready question. to take that bold step. Now, if you the man you. falls for it, if the man doesn't think his woman is, is good enough for him and he wants to fall for either one of you, then break up the However, man. However, there up is the another notion that's usually on the table when this comes up. And they tell you, if you can steal a man from a woman, another then another woman can too. also steal him from you. Because Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. when you steal a man from a woman, are mm -hmm. you going to believe that man whenever he tells you or when but you see shady it's, things? It's, so you're saying if you ask this girl out and she tells you she has a 
a boyfriend and you keep trying no, and trying. Women, Hold on. Women. When she finally agrees, at the back of your mind, you keep it that somebody else can also take her away. No, don't worry. Me, I know how to um, do the right thing, so I don't think anyone will be able to meet up the standard. <laughs> okay, you see, I My don't, standard is different. I don't exactly agree with the scattered relationship thing, mm. but I feel like there should be an opportunity, even if you're in a relationship, to be honest, I feel like you should have this slight opportunity for other people to prove yourself. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. At the end of the day, you will not go and marry someone you're not supposed to marry. Mm. Because maybe you get married to your boyfriend and the love of your life is hanging there. Mm. Jigget. So I feel, <clears throat> not like scattered relationship, mm. but if that person feels that you have something more to offer and you're probably the perfect person for that person, I mean, anything can happen. No. So basically just be the loyal side chick. No, no, I'm not, okay. no, you don't have to start dating the person. Mm. Now. I mean, why would I even want to date you when you're dating somebody else? Until or the bestie. person is done and clear. You don't have to be bestie besties. Too and with you. you really don't even have to be besties. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now you cannot okay. talk. <laughs> He's choking on the bestie. No, too no, I'm kid. no, I'm not choking on that. Mm. I just think it's a very old joke, so. Well, but I, f I feel like um, this whole taking things by force will tell you if you want it, you. The something violence they get it by force, some, some, the something. Kingdom, so far it's been working so for so many people. So I'm beginning to think that I think I need to try. Radicalism as the way. But forward. I think the way forward is what Ife has said: be open. And I think you mentioned it mm. too. Just be open, even if you're dating this guy, and just give room, not cheat, but mm. date. Basically, like dating is not relationship. So just go on dates and get to know people to know and be person. friends. Mm. And in the midst of sure that friendship... Make sure he doesn't have a problem with it so she doesn't have a problem with it. Ooh. As long as he's, he has not proposed saying? to you, he's not supposed to have a problem yeah. with it. It's that simple. I mean, if, if he start dating somebody else, mm -hmm. sorry, it's your loss at the end of the day. Mm. Right. Okay, also... That's when you know also, your value. Also... A lot of women and a lot of men don't know their values in relationships. Mm. Mm. Also... That's true. Why are you people going so deep? <laughs> Maya <Mayor, laughs> Kuk has a message for um, married people. people. He's mm -hmm. saying that they need to keep their sexiness intact. Like, it's not after the first child, you're not going to Baba talk by. No, that's so annoying. That is so irritating. Okay, there's something that pisses me off. Even when I'm not married mm. and um, you have a sleepover at my crib or mm. wherever we are, right? Before and the then... celibacy thing, I know, continue. <laughs> 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 you Go guys ahead. don't even know if my celebrity is CP or not. Oh. You don't know. It's it's over. Over. I'm not, I said you don't even know. But it's so over. Over. It's over. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm still, I'm still yeah. okay. So like I was saying, mm -hmm. um, the one that irritates me the most is um, when you wake up in the morning and you think you can still leave your air net to go to the kitchen and make me breakfast. I did to make you breakfast. What might be your dream? <laughs> you, can, you can, you can, if do I that find this tea, okay, you can't do that. You want that to do it? Take out the air net as soon as you get out of bed. And then brush And then the do whatever you need to do and mm -hmm. still look pretty. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that <laughs> don't tie rapper, please. Do not tie rapper. What is rapper doing in your house? I mean, I, I was going to ask you, why you even have that tie? Don't even have rapper. Don't tie anything around your body and say oh, the well. to you to move around. Too well. Too well. After you leave the bathroom, please. Ah. Remove the toilet. Okay. Well, well, you want to add something quickly, real quick? No, I, I just want to say, Mayor, because sometimes, yeah, out of his joke, he actually speaks the truth. Mm. And you should consider comedy because it came out very funny, but mm. he was actually speaking the truth. Yeah. People need to do better in their marriage. Mm -hmm. Some women will say um, the man is out there cheating, mm. but then you're probably the reason because you're not the old person he was with. So. Mm. All right. And I also remember mm. I, I mentioned this to you. I said sometimes when you see this people that have stayed so long in their relationship and they're enjoying their old age, it's difficult for me. I, or I have never seen anyone of them that will call themselves Baba Tokwe or something. Mm. You still see these old people call themselves baby and all daddy. that. I think there is something there somehow. So be sexy, right? Some will even start calling you daddy. That's ah. how we wrap up. <laughs> this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shukaye, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying, stay beautiful and be blessed.